Erwin Schrödinger, a renowned quantum physicist, had a profound encounter with Indian philosophy, which significantly influenced his thoughts and scientific work. His journey into the rich tapestry of Eastern philosophy began around 1918, catalyzed by the writings of the German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer, who himself was deeply influenced by the ancient wisdom of India. Schopenhauer, an ardent student of the Upanishads, sacred texts that form the core of Indian philosophical thought, held these texts in high esteem. He famously declared the study of the Upanishads as the most beneficial and elevating, profoundly impacting his life and philosophical outlook. Schrodinger, drawn to Schopenhauer's admiration for these ancient texts, delved into the Upanishads, exploring their profound insights and teachings. The Upanishads, known for their exploration of the fundamental nature of reality, provided Schrodinger with a new lens through which to view the world. Central to these texts is the concept of Brahman, the universal self, and Atman, the individual self. The Upanishads teach that these are not two separate entities but are, in fact, one and the same. This philosophical tenet, encapsulated in the phrase, Brahman is Atman, suggests a deep-rooted interconnectedness and oneness of all existence. Schrödinger was captivated by this idea. It resonated with him, particularly as he grappled with the mysteries of quantum physics and the nature of reality. The Upanishads provided a philosophical grounding that paralleled some of his scientific inquiries, particularly the nature of consciousness and the relationship between the observer and the observed. His fascination with these ancient teachings was profound and personal. It is said that he even named his dog Atman and would often conclude his conference talks with statements highlighting the unity of Atman and Brahman, a concept he playfully referred to as the second Schrodinger equation. Schrodinger's encounter with Indian philosophy was not a fleeting interest, but a significant intellectual engagement that shaped his worldview. The wisdom of the Upanishads offered him a unique perspective on the fundamental questions of science, consciousness, and the nature of reality. This encounter highlights the enduring impact of ancient philosophical thought on modern scientific inquiry, illustrating how ideas from different cultures and eras can intersect to enrich our understanding of the world. Concepts of Brahman and Atman in the Upanishads The concepts of Brahman and Atman in the Upanishads are central to the philosophical and spiritual teachings that have emanated from ancient India. These ancient texts, revered for their profound wisdom, explore the nature of reality, consciousness and the universe, with Brahman and Atman being pivotal in this exploration. Brahman, in the Upanishadic context, is the ultimate singular reality the universal essence that underlies and pervades all existence. It is not limited by time, space or form, transcending the physical manifestations of the universe. Brahman is often described as the absolute reality, the source of all that is, and the ultimate cause of all phenomena. This concept challenges the conventional perception of reality, suggesting that what we perceive through our senses is just a part of a much larger, incomprehensible truth. Atman, on the other hand, refers to the individual self or soul. It is the true essence of an individual, which, unlike the physical body, is eternal and unchanging. The Upanishads teach that the Atman is not separate from the universe, but is in fact one and the same as Brahman. This idea is encapsulated in the famous phrase Tat Phan Masi, which means Thou art that, indicating that the individual self, Atman, is essentially one with the universal self, Brahman. A central tenet of the Upanishads is the realization and understanding of this unity. The texts guide the seeker through various philosophical discussions and teachings, aiming to lead to the profound realization that the Atman and Brahman are not distinct entities, but are inherently connected and identical. This realization is seen as a path to enlightenment, where the individual transcends the limitations of the physical and egoic self, experiencing a state of oneness with the universe. The relationship between Brahman and Atman in the Upanishads is not merely a philosophical or metaphysical concept. It has practical implications for how one lives and perceives the world. This understanding encourages a view of life where one sees the same divine essence in all beings, leading to a life of ethical conduct, compassion, 
and a deeper sense of unity with all of existence. The teachings of the Upanishads about Brahman and Atman have had a profound impact on various schools of Indian philosophy and spiritual practice. They offer a view of the world that goes beyond the material and transient, inviting seekers to explore the depths of their consciousness and to realize the fundamental unity of all life. This timeless wisdom continues to inspire and guide spiritual seekers around the world, offering insights into the nature of self, the universe, and the ultimate reality. Schrodinger's Interpretation of Upanishadic Philosophy Arun Schrodinger, a prominent figure in the realm of quantum physics, found a deep resonance with the ancient philosophical teachings of the Upanishads, texts that hold a special place in the spiritual and intellectual traditions of ancient India. His interpretation of Upanishadic philosophy was not just an academic exercise, but a profound integration of these ancient concepts into his understanding of the universe and the nature of reality. In the Upanishads, the concepts of Brahman, the universal self, and Atman, the individual self, are pivotal, proposing that they are not separate entities, but essentially one and the same. This idea that the individual soul and the universal essence are identical was a revelation to Schrodinger. He saw parallels between this ancient wisdom and his own work in quantum physics, particularly in the context of understanding consciousness and the nature of observation. Schrodinger was intrigued by the Upanishadic view that the observer and the observed are fundamentally interconnected and inseparable. This mirrored the principles he encountered in quantum theory, where the act of observation influences the state of what is being observed. He considered the possibility that this quantum phenomenon could be a reflection of the deeper truth articulated in the Upanishads, that all is one, and the separation between observer and observed is an illusion. He pondered over the Upanishadic teaching that the entire universe is a manifestation of Brahman, and that the diversity we perceive is merely a play of Maya illusion, masking the true unified nature of existence. This idea deeply influenced his philosophical and scientific thinking. Sredinger contemplated how this onness could explain the apparent paradoxes and mysteries of quantum physics, such as the wave-particle duality and the collapse of the wave function upon observation. His interpretation of Upanishadic philosophy extended to the realm of consciousness. Sredinger was captivated by the notion that there is only one consciousness, one universal mind manifesting in myriad forms and phenomena. This understanding led him to question the Western scientific approach that often views consciousness as a byproduct of physical processes. Instead, he suggested that consciousness might be the fundamental reality, the canvas on which the material universe is painted. Strodima's engagement with the Upanishads was more than a philosophical alignment. It was an integral part of his quest to understand the mysteries of the universe. He saw in the Upanishads a profound truth that transcended the boundaries of time, culture, and scientific thought. His interpretation of these ancient teachings reflects a meeting point between the worlds of science and spirituality, offering a glimpse into a unified understanding of reality that bridges the gap between ancient wisdom and modern physics. Quantum Physics and Upanishadic Insights The fascinating interplay between quantum physics and Upanishadic insights represents a profound meeting point of modern scientific thought and ancient spiritual wisdom. This convergence offers a unique perspective on understanding the nature of reality and consciousness, bridging two seemingly disparate worlds. Quantum physics, a field that delves into the fundamental principles governing the subatomic realm, has unveiled aspects of reality that challenge our conventional understanding of the physical world. One of its key revelations is the principle of wave-particle duality, which suggests that subatomic particles can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like properties. This principle introduces a level of unpredictability and uncertainty at the heart of physical reality, fundamentally altering the way we understand the nature of matter and energy. The Upanishads, ancient philosophical texts from India, provide profound insights into the nature of existence, consciousness, and the universe. Central to these teachings is the concept of Brahman, the ultimate, unchanging reality that underlies all physical and material phenomena. The Upanishads teach that the physical world we perceive through our senses is not the ultimate reality, but a manifestation of Brahman, shaped by Maya, 
the illusory power that creates a sense of duality and separation. When we look at quantum physics through the lens of Upanishadic philosophy, intriguing parallels emerge. Both realms suggest that the reality we perceive is not the ultimate truth, but a limited view shaped by our observational framework. In quantum physics, the act of observation affects the behavior of particles, suggesting that our perception plays a crucial role in shaping physical reality. Similarly, the Upanishads propose that our individual perception, influenced by Maya, shapes our understanding of the world, masking the true nature of Brahman. Furthermore, the Upanishads' concept of the unity of Atman, the individual self, and Brahman, the universal essence, resonates with the interconnectedness observed in quantum phenomena. Quantum entanglement, for instance, where particles remain connected and influence each other regardless of distance, echoes the Upanishadic teaching of an underlying oneness that connects all of existence. The exploration of consciousness in the Upanishads also finds a curious echo in quantum theory. The Upanishads propose that consciousness is not a mere byproduct of physical processes, but the very foundation of reality. This view aligns intriguingly with some interpretations of quantum physics, where consciousness is posited to play a key role in determining the state of reality. In summary, the convergence of quantum physics and Upanishadic insights offers a compelling framework for exploring the deeper truths of the universe. It suggests that the ancient wisdom of the Upanishads and the discoveries of modern quantum physics are not contradictory but complementary each shedding light on different facets of the profound mystery that is our universe. This intersection invites a broader understanding of reality, transcending the boundaries of science and spirituality. The mind-body problem and consciousness in science and Upanishadic philosophy. The mind-body problem and the nature of consciousness are topics that have long fascinated thinkers, both in the realms of modern science and ancient spiritual philosophy. This intriguing subject explores the relationship between the mind, often viewed as non-material, and the physical body, and how these two entities interact to create the experience of consciousness. In the field of modern science, particularly in neuroscience and psychology, the mind-body problem is approached with an emphasis on understanding how physical processes in the brain give rise to mental states and consciousness. The pervading view in much of contemporary science is materialistic positing that consciousness emerges from and is dependent on neurochemical processes in the brain. This perspective suggests that mental states are ultimately reducible to physical states and that understanding the brain's workings is key to unraveling the mysteries of the mind. However, this materialistic view faces challenges, particularly when it comes to explaining subjective experiences or qualia and how immaterial thought processes can arise from purely physical brain activities. The question of how non-material consciousness can influence or interact with the physical body remains a point of considerable debate and investigation. In contrast, the ancient teachings of the Upanishads, hailing from the spiritual and philosophical traditions of ancient India, offer a different perspective. The Upanishadic philosophy presents consciousness not as a byproduct of physical processes, but as a fundamental independent aspect of reality. In this view, the physical world, including the human body and brain, is seen as a manifestation of a deeper, underlying reality. According to the Upanishads, everything in the universe is an expression of Brahman, the ultimate reality that is unchanging, infinite and eternal. Individual consciousness or Atman is understood to be one with Brahman. This non-dualistic approach posits that the physical and the non-physical are not separate entities but different aspects of the same universal essence. The mind and the body, therefore, are interconnected expressions of a single, unified reality. The Upanishadic view offers a holistic understanding of consciousness, suggesting that it is inherent in the universe and not confined to the physical structures of the brain. This perspective transcends the limitations of the materialistic approach, proposing that understanding consciousness requires exploring beyond the physical dimensions of existence. In summary, the mind-body problem and the nature of consciousness are explored differently in modern science and Upanishadic philosophy. While science often approaches it from a materialistic standpoint, focusing on the brain's physical processes, Upanishadic philosophy offers a spiritual and philosophical perspective, viewing consciousness as a fundamental aspect of the universe. 
These contrasting views provide a rich tapestry of thought on one of the most profound and enduring mysteries of human existence.